hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is chison mama and i am a youtuber based in winter ontario canada if this is your first time of stopping by you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for sticking around so in today's video i'll be talking to you guys quickly about how to convert your visitor's visa into a work permit there are two things you can do to convert your visitor's visa to a work permit. Bear in mind that visitors are not allowed to work in Canada. But if you want to work or if you must work, you must have a work permit to enable you work in Canada. So number one thing you can do to get a work permit in Canada is to flag pull. Yes, you heard me. You can flag pull. Flag pulling simply means exiting canada into the u.s and then coming back to canada what i mean in detail is say for example we live in um, or i live in Windsor, which shares like a boundary with detroit which is just like you know our backyard so to say so you can actually exit Windsor as canada through the detroit um um bridge or detroit river which is the um you can actually exit canada and um get to detroit by the time you are in detroit you would be denied entry into the u.s by the immigration of course because you do not have a u.s visa so they will ask you what you are about to do or you what you came to do so you just tell them that you came to flagpole bear in mind that you will be questioned at the border or by the immigration as to why you want to flagpole if you were say a student that just finished studying and you want to get like a work permit you don't want to wait till you um your postgraduate work permit is ready it will be way easier for them to you know issue you a work permit on the spot but because you have a visitor's um, visa you will be questioned so if you are able to give them like a valid reason why you want to remain in canada longer than you should you would be offered a work permit on the spot as well there's some you know nitty gritties or some things that can you know increase your chances like say you have um, a relative here in Canada, like a brother or a sister, you know, those things can also, you know, increase your chances of getting a work permit. So, um, flag pulling is actually like one of the easiest way that you can get a work permit here in Canada. That's if you have a visitor's visa. Number two way you can actually get a work permit as a visitor here in Canada is by you know getting a valid job offer yes you can apply for jobs when you come into canada or you before you even come into canada you can apply for jobs from your own country make sure you are applying to jobs that are lmia approved that's labor market impact assessment yes if you apply for such jobs and you are lucky to get one you can ask them to you know issue you like um they call it this um specific um employer work permit so because normally if you get a valid job offer that's from your own country that's when you're not in canada from your own country if you apply for um that's lmia it will usually take you like 132 days for you for them to you know issue you a work permit because you have to go through the process of uh, um submitting some documents paying the fees and you know waiting um that long period no these application things are you, there's always a wait period for it so if you are lucky to find one and maybe you do not have that you know that enough time to wait it out you can actually ask your employer to issue you an employer specific work permit so these are the two ways that you can actually obtain work permits in canada that can enable you to work in canada bear in mind that without a work permit you would not be allowed to 
work in Canada. And also, while you are searching for jobs, please make sure that these jobs are LMIA approved. Make sure because if they are not, I'm sorry, you would not be able to get a work permit that can, you know, enable you to work in Canada. So, while you are searching for a valid job here in Canada, you should please revamp your CV because the way we, you know, I'm from Nigeria, the way we write our CV in Nigeria is different from how they write theirs in Canada. So make sure that your CV is tailored to Canadian standard. Yes, you know, in Nigeria, we had um, a sex, that's whether you're a female or male on your CV, you add your nationality, some even go as far as adding their age. Then marital status, they had all those stuff. But here, I think the only thing that you need is just your name, your phone number, and your email. Then the rest are just, you know, like your work history and all that you've got, you know, as um, a professional and all that. So um, make sure that your CV is tailored to Canada standards so that, you know, you don't scare potential employers away because men looking at your CV they'll be like ah, are you sure this person is ready for us and all that so make sure that you revamp your CV. You can also extend your stay in Canada by applying for a visitor's record yes as a visiting um, visitor here you need to apply for a visitor's record for you to you know extend your stay once you are already in Canada. Also, note that when you stay longer in Canada than you should, this would affect your subsequent visa application process. Please and please, if you are asked to leave at a certain date, please exit Canada and, you know, try reapplying again. Except you don't want to, you know, you don't want to have, like, say, a future here in Canada. A future, I mean, that like, like working a decent kind of job or you know getting a decent job except you want to you know do menials like continuously which you know in five years ten years i'm sure you would want to you know settle for that yeah. so i hope you enjoyed watching today's video i hope you consider subscribing i'll wait for you to subscribe Thank you for subscribing. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye.